Hi, this is Matt from Nosby Teams. Today, we're going to take a peek at some of the core features of To-Do App for modern teams. Let me show you how I use it with my team to move our projects forward and achieve our goals. The basic structure of your workflow in Nosby Teams consists of projects, tasks, and comments. Basically, everything that you want to get done with your team and that requires more than a couple of actions is a project. You then split it into tasks to make a detailed action plan and use comments to provide details and feedback. The main menu. This is the main menu. You can access your priority, incoming and activity, as well as the single task from here. We will talk about these later in the video, so please keep watching. Below is your project list that you can view in detail by choosing the All button. If you keep scrolling the main menu down, you will see your tag list, your team members list and your smart list which we will discuss later in the video. Adding a project. Let's get started by creating a new project. I tap or click on the All button to go to my project list. There, I hit the big plus button. First, I give my project a name. By default and in free version of Nosby Teams, a new project can be accessed by everyone on my team. If you have a premium team account, you can limit the visibility of the project to just a certain number of people or just to yourself. Optionally, I can add the project purpose to explain to my team why this project exists in the first place. Creating a task and setting its parameters. Now that I have a project, I'll add a few tasks for it. Let's add a first task. Now I can choose to add another task quickly too, or another. In each task, I can add some details to provide more info for me and my team. If the task must happen on a certain date, I can set up its due date. If this task needs more work, I'll just set a reminder for myself a few days before the due date. I can pick from the predefined options or choose an exact date and time. I will be notified about both the reminder and the due date with a push notification in my mobile app, and the task will appear in my incoming view. Please note that a due date is visible to everyone on the team who can see this task, but a reminder is visible only to me. There are more task parameters in Nosby Teams, but we'll discuss them later in the video. Comments text, attachments, and checklists. This is when team collaboration really starts. If the task is simple and its name is enough for my colleague to understand what needs to be done, it's okay to just assign it to them. In this first task, I need Anna's help. If some details are needed to start working on the task, I'll use comments to clarify what I have in mind. Comments are very powerful in Nosby Teams. I can also comment with an image, file, or any other attachments. Or I can just drag and drop things from my desktop. If the task is pretty complex, I can break it down to a few short steps with a checklist. The task is well described now, and Alex will know what to do and will surely get back to me before the deadline. Task-based communication. To get from zero to done in our team, we communicate in tasks like I've just done with Alex. This way, we have everything that we need to complete a task in one place. The discussion related to the task takes place in the comments. We provide feedback and opinions by writing text comments in tasks. We ask questions and get solutions right in tasks. We manage responsibilities within tasks by assigning work to specific team members. And then these tasks get done. It's all structured, easy to follow and search, and very actionable. When you open a project, you can clearly see what's going on, who's responsible for what, and how's the progress on each task. Incoming. Now I'm going to hop to the incoming view to see if someone wants my help. Oh, it seems Alex still needs some clarification. He mentioned my name in a comment. That's why this task appeared here. The incoming view is my team communication hub in Nosby Teams. This is where I'll find all the tasks that involve me at the moment. This includes not only the tasks that someone mentions me, but also tasks that have been assigned to me, as well as the ones that are due today or overdue. The tasks with pending reminders land here too. In short, this is the place where the things that require my attention will go to get nicely categorized. Remember that the incoming section is not a place to store your tasks though. Always make sure to review your incoming regularly and clear out this view. Priority. Let's get back to the task assigned to me. I need to get on it now. I mark it with a star and it goes directly to my priority view. By making it my priority, I'm automatically reviewing this task. Simply put, the priority view is the list of my most important tasks. I choose which tasks become my priorities, and then I add them to this special task list. Activity view. 
Another place in Nosby Teams where I look regularly is the activity. This is my team's activity view where I can observe all the new activities and the projects and tasks that I follow. I'll also receive info about the recently created projects here. When I see a task where I can contribute to, I just jump in. Single Tasks In Nosby Teams, tasks usually live in projects, but there are some situations where I need to add a loose task just for myself, because I simply don't want to forget about it. That's why everyone on your team has their own single task project, where they can place the tasks that don't fit into any other project. Following Favorites To stay on top of the project's progress, I can follow it. This means I will see the info about every little change in a project in my activity view. In Nosby Teams, I automatically follow every project that I create. And what about projects created by other team members? I can choose to follow them manually if I'm really interested in them. To do so, I'll enter the project by choosing its name on the project list and hit the follow button at the bottom of the view. If I really want to focus on a project, I can additionally choose to make it my favorite. To add a project to my favorites, I need to open the project and enter its menu by choosing the three dots icon next to its name. The favorite option is marked with a heart and is available at the bottom of the pop-up menu. Of course, I can also start following or make a project favorite in the activity view as soon as I see it's been created. Remember that not all projects have to be a part of a workflow or be actionable. Some can act as repositories for ideas, documents, and resources. This way, my team and I have all our work-related stuff under one roof. All I need for getting my team projects done is listed and searchable in Nosby Teams. Project Sections To keep our workload structured and tidy, we create project sections. They let us divide projects into thematic blocks, stages, or milestones. To create a section, I open my project, go to its menu using the three dots button at the top of the view, and choose Add Section. Once I have my sections ready, I can move the existing tasks to them using the Section button, or I can simply drag and drop them in specific sections and between sections. When creating a new task, you can choose the plus icon in a specific section to add the new task to the section. Now that we've covered the basics, it's time for your team to start getting things done together using Nosby Teams. Invite your colleagues, set up first projects, add tasks and iron out the details in the comments. In future tutorials, we'll cover advanced features like tags, grouping, and much more. But this simple tutorial should be enough to get you and your team started on a path to maximum productivity and minimum stress. Working together can be very easy thanks to Nosby Teams, a to-do app for modern teams.